America is the great Satan, the one true satanic empire, and American society is a learning ground. Depending upon where you begin in the social order, there are certain magical channels that are made available to you. One experience that is shared by all is the presence of the boot on the throat. This boot is both natural and subtle. It exists in the immediate dimension of consciousness as a cold rubber instrument of the state, and it exists metaphysically as the iron rod of God the Father. There are two types of people in this power dynamic, those who feel the boot and those who wield it. The exoteric and esoteric challenge of all those born onto this plane is to get out from under the boot. To become powerful, you must hate power. To wield the boot, you must first despise it. Adopting an adversarial position to the ruling power structure is the first step to freeing yourself from oppression. All those born to the present order are born under oppression from Yahweh. Oppression in a physical sense as a result of the combined forces of church and state, as well as metaphysical oppression in the form of a bound soul. You must free yourself from both forms of oppression in order to become powerful. So you find yourself born into this magical order with intentional misdirection placed before you. Everything is telling you to obey, to be a good boy, to play by the rules. If you accept the status quo, that is the end. You have gone as far as you are willing to go. You will remain a member of the flock. If, however, you reject all of it, if you become a problem for the system, you have passed your first test. In rebellion, you reject the conditions of slavery, and you throw the boot off your throat. In your newfound freedom, you live as a pirate, taking what is necessary in order to secure your liberation. The life of a pirate is treacherous. There are many pitfalls in place to keep you from advancing further. You may be consumed by your hatred of power and undercut your progress. Any ideas of good and evil must be abandoned at this point. Otherwise you will fall victim to slave morality and will live in constant resentment of power. The struggle that you take on at this point can bind you as quickly as any slave mentality. Most people who actively seek power never learn how to passively receive it. To remain in a constant state of giving is to restrict oneself from the riches of the kingdom. It is after this period of rebellion, this time in the wilderness, that the magician learns the secret. The boot is wielded, power gained and projected, all with the purpose of realizing one's dharma. This whole process occurs as a result of organized chaos, the balance of Shiva and Shakti. Feed the masses hedonism, fleeting pleasure, petty morality, and watch them consume themselves. The strong will escape. Feed the rich decadence and a lack of meaning. Watch them fall into existential crisis. The strong will escape. The poisons of modernity are all part of a beautifully orchestrated ritual that separates the weak from the strong. So long as channels are left open for the strong to elevate, the system will remain healthy. No need for birth quotas or arranged marriage, no need to ban pornography or sterilize the invalids. In satanic liberation, the cream always rises to the top.